Hello everyone, I am Sai Chaitanya. Welcome back to my channel Sai Tech. In this video, I will be uh, discussing about the screen recording uh, features in the POCO X2 device after updating to the MIUI 12. So recently I did receive the MIUI 12 update in the POCO X2. So with the MIUI 12 update, there are uh, plenty of new new features which got added in various uh, areas in the POCO X2. So let's see, in this video we will be discussing only about the screen recording functionality which is a very good uh, useful feature for the most of the gamers. So uh, if if you're watching first time this channel, do subscribe uh, to my channel Sitech Guru and also do check the links in description for more playlist of uh, MI UI 12 videos as well. So you can find very good interesting videos and even for the wallpaper videos. So try to check the links in description. So first to access the screen recording as usual, you will get in the notification panel the screen recording option. So you need to long press on the screen recorder. So once you did long press, you can go to the settings here. And in settings, first thing uh, you can notice the resolution. So um, the resolution is 1080, that's a very good option. And even the video quality, now you got up to 20 MBPS. So that's also another good advantage. So next is the orientation of auto or landscape. You can choose auto. And from the sound source, you do have different options from the mic or uh, system sounds. So that's a good advantage if you want only uh, allow the gaming sound in the screen recording. So next is the uh, uh, frame rates. So these were a little bit drawback, I guess. So the problem is that when I compared the screen recording with the uh, Redmi K20 Pro device, I know it's a premium model, the Redmi K20 Pro, but still the uh, frame rates in the Redmi K20 Pro, you can record up to 60 FPS. So there is option of 48 FPS and 60 FPS as well in terms of the screen recording. But whereas in the Poco X2, you may not get a 60 FPS option. So I wish uh, they could have added the 60 FPS only for this uh, POCO X2 model because most of the users so who do uh, buy this POCO X2 they are the gamers and they do require this kind of high refresh rate sc screen recording when uploading uh, everywhere. So uh, definitely this is uh, one of the drawback which I did notice here. So apart from that everything is same even when, when I compare with the Redmi K20 Pro's uh, screen recording side by side. So all the features which which got uh, there in the Redmi K20 Pro also present in the POCO X2 as well. Apart from one thing, that's a frame rate. So uh, this is the overall uh, list of features what you got here after the MIUI 12 update, friends. So uh, this is how it looks. And let me try to turn on the screen recording so we'll get to know how is the actual uh, screen recording interface here. So let me turn on. As you can see right now, you will get the same kind of interface though there is nothing much change in terms of the screen recording option or uh, floating window here. So everything is same as usual. So nothing uh, as much improved. So uh, this is an overall in-depth review on the screen recording in the POCO X2 after updating to the MIUI 12 version. So for more videos to subscribe uh, to my channel SciTech Guru and also do check the links in description also for various videos and wallpapers and other uh, interested videos. So um, see you in the next video until then. Bye.